Rooster and Lark. Good morning, Rooster Nation. Back for uh, another episode of the Rooster Nation podcast. The people, the roosters can't get enough. They just want to hear more. Uh, they want to know what's going on. The troops want to know. Uh, here's what I got today. I got, uh, I'm answering a question that I've been getting a lot from uh, fans of the rooster, a uh, question I've been getting from Rooster Nation, and it revolves around TikTok. People keep asking me why I'm getting into TikTok uh, on the rooster, you know, why I'm getting Rooster Nation into TikTok and putting Rooster and Lark on the TikTok platform. And a lot of people are questioning it, for one, and also looking at me like I'm crazy. Uh, Cause I'm doing, you know, I'm trying to be funny on there. I'm not just taking pictures of packaging as uh, you know, we all know I'm trying not to do. So I want to do a quick, uh, quick episode to uh, answer Rooster Nation's question about why I'm on TikTok. Uh, the first thing is uh, why I think TikTok is an important platform to be on is for me, it's about the power of video. I think to deny um, how powerful video is in connecting with consumers in, today, in today's day and age is, uh, is crazy. You can't deny it. As I said last episode, YouTube is the second largest search engine after Google. So video is such a huge component of, um, you know, American medium, or the, really the world's medium and how we connect with each other. And just humans love video. I think that's a fact. I think that's been proven. Anecdotally, I noticed that things I post on Instagram do better when there's video involved. And I'm talking about video of people, of me talking, of me doing something funny or stupid. Um, it doesn't matter, even if, even if it's not a good video. I notice myself that video performs better than a static photo. So it just kind of proves to me that there's a space, whether or not TikTok is the platform to take it to the next level, there is a space in social media for a video dominated platform. Okay, that's one. Two, TikTok is growing like crazy. That's also undisputed, undeniable, and not just here in the US, it's growing all over the world, all over the world. And while TikTok could, of course, uh, fail and you know fall to the wayside like many other social media apps, again, no one has figured out how to do a platform totally centered around video. And I think TikTok has really figured it out. I think it's improved from Vine in a lot of ways, especially with the more and more filters, how it's full screen, the way the For You page works, and you know the kind of the way the algorithms push things to you that you're interested in. I think TikTok is doing that a lot better than Vine did. Um, another reason I want to be on TikTok now is I think it's good to be early to a platform. You know, there's less competition, there's less noise. You know, trying to stand out on Instagram versus TikTok is a whole different ball game. You know, with the, after first setting up my TikTok profile, I maybe did seven or eight videos to try and get in my groove, and I'm learning about TikTok, and they may not all have been great, but on my ninth or tenth video, I kind of found something that hit a vein, and as of today, it's only about five days old. The vi five days old, the video's up to fifty thousand views. That's an audience that was not that hard to achieve. Granted, they're not an engaged audience. They saw one video and liked it. Um, but it's at least a starting point. It's clearly, you know, if I did nine posts on Instagram, I would never reach 50,000 people uh, within the first couple tries. And, you know, unless I was some kind of celebrity, whatever. Reality of the situation is it's, it's at least from my point of view, it seems easier to get noticed and get eyeballs on your content on TikTok just because there's less noise, there's less commotion, and there's certainly less business interest on TikTok, um, unlike Instagram. That kind of brings me um, to my next point, is that TikTok, something I like about TikTok is it's not uh, overrun with influencers like Instagram is now. I feel like everywhere I turn in my feed, it's businesses and influencers and micro-influencers trying to sell product, uh, you know, build a following, take pictures of food, um, and it's all, it all feels a little artificial to me. I feel like all the people out there trying to make a name for themselves are all the same people who were kind of bolstering these other people who are trying to make a name for themselves. And I think that the, just the micro-influencer thing on Instagram is a little bit of a bubble. It's a little inflated. There's too much noise. There's too many people trying to do it. And Instagram is, of course, important. Everyone's on Instagram. People love pictures. One of the most visited platforms, especially for my demographic of consumers. Um, but I think TikTok is going to be a real competitor to Instagram, especially in terms of the video and the fact that they haven't been overrun with micro-influencers like that. And they haven't really devoted themselves to brands and business and positioned themselves in the way that Instagram has. TikTok 
it's really um, it's really everyday people for the most part. And even though I'm a business pushing a product, um, it's not like a big budget ad that some people see in the Instagram stories. You know, it's me out here trying to hustle my product, doing my thing, and uh, I think that's a lot more authentic, in my opinion. Uh, I could be yanking my own chain there, but uh, you know, than just uh, expensive um, advertising that you see on Instagram and Facebook, and also on the sponsored posts of TikTok. Uh, TikTok. So um, I hope that TikTok maintains that. You know, the things that get pushed to the front, or um, you know, really what gets more views. I was looked into the TikTok algorithm, and it's kind of a function of, you know, the algorithm learns what you like. Uh, so it, it pushes things that, that you want to see to your feed based on how long you watch. And it also keeps videos in the TikTok universe longer, on the For Your page longer, uh, the more people watch it. And I just think it gives people more of an opportunity to stand out and get noticed um, in, in a real way. That's not just taking pictures of food or taking pictures of makeup and, you know, just promoting your products for $250 a post. You know, TikTok is still too new for that. And um, it's really for those reasons that uh, you know that I want to be on TikTok and uh, be kind of first to the scene and stand out a little bit more and try to build a little bit of an audience there. My final point before I wrap up this rant about TikTok in general is that I don't think businesses should be picking and choosing platforms. I think it's important to develop an audience on all of the top major platforms, okay? So I have my audience on Instagram, which is different than my audience on LinkedIn, which is different than my audience on YouTube, which is different than my audience on the podcast, different than, <coughs> excuse me, the TikTok. Um, and to pick, I guess I have the most views on my Instagram right now, besides my one video on TikTok that's up to 50,000 views. Um, but I don't think that means you should neglect the other platforms just because you have a bigger audience on another. I think it's important to take the time and invest in developing your audience across all platforms and tailoring your message a little bit to each one. So what I'm posting on Instagram and the YouTube channel is definitely not what I'm posting on LinkedIn, all right? I'm not posting my silly, uh, you know, rooster hats and the red boa and all that on LinkedIn. You know, I'm having a more business focus, the podcast, talking about the industry. That's my LinkedIn audience. You know, TikTok, it's more, funny, it's kind of little skits, you know, the YouTube channel, it's more long form, uh, you know, getting into different different things I'm doing, um, you know, I'm doing the products that pair good with eggs, did the King Supers thing, so it's, it's all a different audience and it's important not to pick and choose, at least that's my belief. So whatever's working for you, um, I would suggest to invest time in all the other platforms and start to develop an audience there as well. Um, listen, full disclaimer, if you watch any of my stuff, I'm out here trying to make it happen. I'm not one of these guys talking to you on the the big, uh, you know, how it's made podcasts, um, you know, about how I built my company to $100 million. No, I'm still out here trying to make it happen. So I don't have the answers, um, but this is just my opinion on what I need to do and how I am trying to achieve success for my business. So with that said, take it or leave it. But uh, if you like what the rooster has to say, if you like what Rooster and Lark is doing, I would strongly consider branching out into the other platforms and trying to build an audience there. Um, you know, your first couple of posts will probably suck, as did mine, but you just got to get going. You just got to start and build your audience slowly over time. Rome wasn't built in a day, people. At least that's what I tell myself to uh, stay motivated every day while I'm powering through all this stuff. So, user questions, why do I have a TikTok? There you go. Next time someone asks me that, I'm just going to... Uh, you know, tell them to uh, subscribe to the Rooster Nation podcast, and uh, I answered your question there already. So, uh, thank you, Rooster Nation. Appreciate all the support, um, and I will see you next time on Rooster Nation podcast. Take it easy. Bring that ass back like a boom, 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 boom.